why did we have a volunteer fire department to begin with? Well, uh, Buzz and Steve and I uh, got our heads together and decided that uh, we weren't satisfied with Lee and the fire department. And if, you know, nothing against them except we wanted to make our own mistakes because we had seen quite a few that they had made and uh, so we got things rolling got got Ernest and John and James and Lester and, and uh, Buzz and, and some of the rest of them lined up and uh, so we we uh, had a charter made out so that the uh, thing would all be late, legal and uh, and uh, tax deductible and from there uh, we just started doing business uh, we decided that we needed some communications and uh, we were on channel 13 anyhow most, most everybody was on channel 13 and the people that didn't have a CV or an antenna, we relied on this uh, telephone list, and uh, I guess we didn't get all the cooperation we needed because the way it, uh, pass me one of those, Lester, I'll show you how it works. <coughs> uh, the fire report came in here. And uh, it was this person's wife's job to call here and here and here. And uh, then it was their job to call here and here. And uh, when you called here, it was their job to call here. And it was their job to call here. And first thing you know, you had a bunch of firemen on the way. And if we needed more, we had this reserve list in the middle that we could call on that weren't part of the telephone diamond. And uh, that's, that was the communications until we got uh, VHF radios. We picked those up for $25 a piece and uh, sent them to the bench and had, had them crystalled up and started putting them in the vehicles and then each one that uh, wanted one of their own could buy one and, and put in their vehicle itself. And uh, that took care of the communications until uh, we got involved with uh, National Disaster. And we had a chance to get the uh, early warning siren and we put it in and it required 440 volts, I believe. To, uh, so that required a, an extra meter loop. The uh, meter loop for the station was 220 and 110. The uh, station was in a tin barn that faced old 183, about where the front end rack is for Firestone now. And uh, when it would freeze, you could go over to John's house or James and they would stack uh, plywood around the bottom of it and had a heater under there to keep the pump from freezing and, the, and some of the plumbing. And this was the first truck? Yeah. And and the first truck we had was what we lovingly call Big Bertha or Number One. And uh, she was an Air Force crash truck that came from the Arctic uh, by, by way of one one means or another wound up at Granite Shoals and uh, we got wind that it was for sale so uh, Artie and, and Don Webster got their heads together and they said uh, well let's just bid on it and uh, so they said well what do you want to bid I said well, let's make it unlucky so they bid $1,313.13 and whoa, they got the bid, they won the bid. And uh, the next week, the Women's Auxiliary had a pancake supper and they paid for it all. So we could pay Don and, and Artie back. 